now is to the Baltic Sea, where construction of the world's longest underwater rail and road tunnel is underway. Hey, guess what's happening soon? Denmark and Germany are going to be connected by this super cool underwater tunnel. It's going to be a whopping 18 kilometers long and will have both roads and train tracks inside. Just imagine you're driving or riding the train, surrounded by water, feeling like you're in a movie. They're calling it the Femarn Belt Tunnel, and it'll be the longest of its kind in the whole world by 2029. Imagine zooming through it in just 7 minutes by train or 10 minutes by car, instead of taking a 160-kilometer long detour across Denmark. That's a huge time saver. Join us as we explore the depths of engineering ingenuity and unveil the secrets hidden beneath the ocean floor. Get ready to be amazed, for this is a journey you won't want to miss. Stay tuned till the end for an exclusive look at the future of transportation. This tunnel isn't just about making travel faster, it's also about connecting Central Europe with Scandinavia in a big way. Once it's done, it'll be way easier to get from places like Hamburg in Germany to Copenhagen in Denmark. You can slash travel time from 5 hours to less than 3. How awesome is that? And get this, no more crazy busy ferry rides. The tunnel will replace that, making the journey faster by almost an hour. Denmark is even planning to build super-fast electric rail lines to link up with the tunnel, making it easier to travel to Sweden, Norway, and Finland too. Now how are they building this marvel? Well, it's been in the works for a while. They started planning back in 2020 and began building in 2021. It's a massive project, costing around 10 billion euros, with a big chunk of that coming from the European Union. They're putting it together underwater, using these huge concrete sections. It's like building a giant puzzle underwater. And don't worry, they're being careful about the environment too, making sure it doesn't mess with the wildlife in the area. So by 2029, we'll have this amazing tunnel connecting two awesome countries. It's going to make traveling around Europe a whole lot easier and more fun. First off, this tunnel is no ordinary tunnel. It's an underwater masterpiece, stretching a whopping 18 kilometers beneath the seafloor. Picture that. It's like a secret passage between Denmark and Germany. Now what's cool is that it's not just for cars, it's for trains too. Yep, you heard me right. It's like a highway and a railway combined, making it super versatile for all sorts of travelers. Construction kicked off back in 2020 in Denmark and then in 2021 in Germany. It's a big project, costing around 55.1 billion Danish krone, which is roughly $8 billion. But hey, good things take time and money, right? This tunnel isn't just about making travel easier. It's part of a bigger plan called the European 10T Network. It's all about making Europe's transportation system smoother and greener. Once this tunnel is done in 2029, it's going to revolutionize travel between Scandinavia and Central Europe. Say goodbye to those long detours and ferry rides. This tunnel will be the fastest way to zip between countries. And get this, it's not just about speed. It's about bringing people and goods closer together by cutting travel times and reducing emissions. It's paving the way for a more connected and sustainable future. The Femarn Belt Project is all about building this awesome undersea tunnel that will have a motorway with four lanes and a railway with twin tracks. Imagine zooming through it on a train coast to coast in just seven minutes. If you're driving, it'll take a bit longer, around 10 minutes. And get this, it's not just any tunnel. It's a game changer for travel between Hamburg and Copenhagen. Instead of spending four and a half hours on a train, you'll be able to do it in just three hours. That's a big time saver. Be sure to give this video a like if you are enjoying the content. Now let's talk about the nuts and bolts of this tunnel. It's made up of two tubes for the motorway, two for the railway, and the service passage. There are a total of 89 tunnel elements, each weighing a whopping 73,000 tons. These elements are like giant puzzle pieces, each measuring 217 meters long. They'll be placed on a deep trench on the seabed, and once they're all in place, they'll be joined together. Then, all the technical stuff will be installed inside. Once that's done, the tunnel will be covered up with gravel, sand, and stone to keep it safe and secure. Safety is a big priority too. There's a full emergency lane in both directions, along with emergency exits all along the tunnel. Plus, they've made sure that road and rail traffic stay separate, and the design makes sure that trains stay on track, literally. Oh, and it's built to withstand a fire for three hours at temperatures hotter than your oven. 
A local control center will keep an eye on everything happening in the tunnel, while train traffic will be monitored by a separate train traffic control center on both ends. To keep the air fresh inside, natural ventilation happens as vehicles move through, creating a kind of piston effect. But if things slow down or stop due to an accident, big fans on the roof kick in to keep things circulating. As part of the project, they're making some big upgrades to the railway. They're electrifying the existing line so electric trains can zip along instead of diesel ones. Plus, they're sprucing up the track between Ringsted and Rodby so freight trains can use it too. And the motorways? Yep, they're getting a makeover too, so they can smoothly connect to the new tunnel. Now let's talk construction. They've set up three sites, one in Rodby Howe, one in Putt Garden, and another in the Blue Waters between Denmark and Germany. They've booked up utilities, built new roads, and even added breakwaters near Rodbyhav to extend the coastline. That took a whopping 2 million tons of granite. They started making the tunnel pieces in 2020 in Rodbyhav and 2021 in Putt Garden. Meanwhile, they began dredging the tunnel trench in 2021. Each tunnel piece is made separately, taking about nine weeks each to ensure they're top notch. It's a meticulous process, but it's all about making sure everything fits together just right. They're going all out with this tunnel project. First up, they're dredging the tunnel trench from the Blue Water site using a whole fleet of special dredging vessels. They're scooping up a whopping 19 million cubic meters of sand, stone, and soil. And get this, all that stuff they're dredging up. They're using it to create brand new beaches and fun spots near Rotbihad. Talk about recycling. Now let's talk about fitting those tunnel pieces together. Each one gets special waterproof bulkheads at both ends and then gets towed into place by tugs. Once they're in the trench, they're joined together like a giant underwater puzzle. And don't worry, they're making sure everything works just right by testing all the technical stuff in mid-2029. Oh, and they're not stopping there. They're building tunnel portals in both Denmark near Rodbyhavn and Germany near Puttgarden. These portals will connect the tunnel's railway and motorway to the shiny new roads and railways they're building. Speaking of railways, they're giving the Ringsted-Holby section of the ringsted femern railway line a serious upgrade. They're electrifying it and making it smoother by straightening out curves, which means trains can zip along at speeds of up to 200 km per hour. Plus, they're replacing a 55 km section with double tracks for even more efficiency. And to top it off, they're sprucing up stations and building new bridges. It's like giving the railway a fancy makeover. Denmark's got this tone covered when it comes to funding. They're footing the bill entirely thanks to an agreement they signed with Germany. But they're not alone in this. The European Investment Bank shipped in a cool 123.5 million euros grant from the Connecting Europe facility, CEF, to help with construction. And that's not all. In 2019, the EIB also gave Femern Land and Lake, a construction company, a 200 million euros loan to upgrade the Danish railway network, making sure it connects smoothly with the new tunnel. Now let's talk about the folks getting their hands dirty and making this tunnel a reality. Two consortiums are leading the charge. Thelmarn Belt Contractors, FBC, and Thelmarn Link Contractors, FLC. FBC's got Boskalis, Van Ord, and Sweco Denmark on board, while FLC's got Vinci Construction Brands Projects, Per Arsluff, Waste and Freetag Engineerbau, Max Bogel Stiftone & Co., CFE, Solatinch Baki International, BAM Infra, BAM International, and Dredging International in their crew. They've got some serious talent working on this. Then there's the Femron Systems Contractors, FSC, Consortium, making sure the tunnel's equipped with all the fancy tech like lighting, ventilation, and safety systems. And let's not forget about Axionet, the folks supplying the global navigation satellite systems for the project. Last but not least, MT Hogard snagged the contract to build and expand a bunch of bridges for the Ringstead Femern railway line. They're the ones making sure everything stays connected and running smoothly. With all these teams on board, there's no doubt this tunnel's going to be something truly special. And that's a wrap on Europe's monumental feat, the construction of the world's longest underwater tunnel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment sharing your thoughts and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an update. And while you're here, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.